I should have refilled my energy. I'm pretty low, but eh, whatever. I'm about. I'm gonna be getting an energy tank in a few minutes, so I'm not too worried. Am I going to oh, see? Oh Lord, my... the yapping moss. Oh, I remember this room. I remember this room well. God damn those yapping moths. I hate those things. My first playthrough, this is where the f I had my first death, actually. The yapping moths pulled me down into the, the thorns, and I couldn't get out, so I just ended up dying. Anyway, we get the spacer. Doink. Okay, Com speaking of death in Super Metro, did you know that the that game composer Minako, Minako Hamano, I think that's what her name is, uh, actually initially recorded a scream... That a female a, a scream that played uh, when Samus died, but it was actually removed for sounding too sexual. Do you know that she was originally naked? Yes, I knew that she was originally she was originally naked under that suit, and also uh, a, a thing they they also removed was her boobs flipping upwards as she died. <laughs> Basically, yes, this is a Nintendo game we're talking about with bloody corpses, a beheading, and boobies, a, <laughs> naked of. Uh, a possible naked woman and gain axing. <laughs> All before Bayonetta. <laughs> Guess who's the originator, bitch? Yeah, seriously, get on my level. Dude, get the fucking energy tank. I was killing the Nova so I could unlock this door so I don't have to kill the Nova on the way back out. <laughs> bitch. Twat. Well, you're going to have to kill the damn Nova again. So. No, I'm not, because the door's unlocked. I don't need to touch it. I can ignore it completely. When you unlock a door for the first time, it stays unlocked forever. But you have to shoot it after you unlock it. If it's blinking when you exit the room, it's going to relock. And again, one thing, the, the little monologue he just gave me reminded me of something else. This time, not classic rock, actually an old game show. What's that? The original version of Wheel of Fortune, believe it or not. Once oh. you buy a prize, it's yours to keep forever. Oh. Well, that's well, basically how it works in this game. Okay, and uh, care if I uh, take the floor for, for a few moments? This sure. is gonna be com This is going to be completely off topic. Well, and, and actually, while you're doing that, uh, how long is this going to be? Oh, it'll be a, just a brief moment. I'll come to it's, the safe point, and I'm, I'm going to try something that might I might regret. But I'm going to do it anyway, because fuck you, that's why. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> uh, what the um, reason I said like that little Wheel of Fortune monologue is that Wheel of Fortune, the game show, originally uh, had you spend the money you won on the wheel at, for sh as shopping for prizes. They stopped that in the nineties, so huh. that's all. Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna try another mop ball trick. Let's see how badly I fail. Pretty badly. Hilariously. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Try again. Take two. I fucked it. Fail. And I have to find the exit now. Fail. There we go. I was about to say, oh, you're fucked. Yeah, I was about to say, good thing I saved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the interest of not wasting time, I'll be back for that later. It's a series right, staple Arnold. upgrade. It's a series staple upgrade, so we'll be getting it. We have to get it if we want the final area to not be a pain in the ass. So, and we also need it if we want 100% completion. So, hooray! Ew! It's basically like some kind of life form or whatever the hell that was, frozen in stone. I think it was just supposed to be a statue, actually. I know, I know, but it looked like it was. Slobbering. Yeah, I know. That's it's. Uh, those were weren't. Wasn't that in the original in Metroid One? Yes, but it wasn't quite as gory looking. Yeah, this game is pretty graphic for a Super Nintendo game. Yeah, it's kind of a. Di it's kind of like a diamond in the rough. Like we actually Nintendo actually grew some balls with this one. I'm gonna piss off a lot of Nintendo fanboys today. <laughs> Nintendo actually grew some... <gasps> or Miyamoto. And, um... What's that? Oh, uh, dead bounty hunter. Hello. Holy shit. I wonder with what yellow, got this guy. sticky yellow blood, too. Yeah. 
And it had some kind of maggot-like things all over them. Yeah, yeah. Those, actually, those maggot things, we actually saw skittering away when we first entered the cave. Mm-hmm. Anyway, here's a nice little place where you can refill your energy and your your missiles. Unfortunately, that doesn't refill your supers, so we're going in with, oh, only seven. Later, well, you can get you can get super missiles back if you just grind I, for them. I'm not farming for that long. <laughs> we come up to our first boss. That door looks oddly simpler. You notice it's like one flat color now? Yeah. That's actually because this loads a different t uh, tile set. That's actually simpler because this Great. big mother, this big motherfucker takes so much VRAM that they can't do the normal graphics. Great. He's got a huge upgrade from uh, Metroid One, where he was about the size of Samus, actually, in Metroid One. And now he's the size of a 7-Eleven. More like the size of a Wawa, dude. Well, he's now the size of dead, so... <laughs> the size of dead? Yes, that is a size now. Death is a size. Going to a shoe store. I'm a, I'm a size dead. Um... Varia, the mistranslation of barrier. Seriously? Yeah, that's what... Don't they sound very similar? Varia? Barrier? Very similar. Yes, of course they do. Ha ha. Puns! I, under I, underst I understood the gravity of that statement. Not wanting to spoil anything. <laughs> no, I didn't give away shit. I'm just, there's just... I'll say there is a power-up that contains the word gravity. I'm not saying exactly what it is. True. But I'll... But I'm guessing it's just making for some light comedy. Sure. <laughs> we'll go with that. Darkly humorous, yet light comedy. Are you making a Prime 2 reference? <laughs> yes, I oh, am! Oh, god damn it! That fucking game. <laughs> Honestly, I have, only, I have never heard anyone say the game is good. I've heard a lot of people say it's okay. I've uh -oh. never gotten to play it myself. Fuck you. Wait, how did you get him off like that? If you aim up and fire a <laughs> missile... <laughs> Sorry, I've got chronic Beavis and Butthead syndrome. <laughs> Shut up, Zebus. <laughs> uh, screw you, fart knocker! <laughs> your, your voice is gonna die if you keep doing that. <laughs> it won't die any worse than ACDC's lead singer. Oh, um... And now his name has completely left me. Brian Johnson. Thank you. My my dad. That was you. the third lead singer they've actually had. Mm -hmm. They once had this. Bon, this it was Bon Scott before. Bon Scott was the okay. second one, believe it or not. They had some guy named Dave. Dave something. Yeah, I can't remember his first name. I tried convincing my dad of that, and he's like, no, that's a different band. <laughs> no. He's it, a huge ACDC fanatic. Believe it or not, there, is, there was an, a lead singer before... Um, uh, there was a lead singer before Bon Scott. It was Dave something, but he refused to perform. And Bon Scott originally was the band's truck driver. What the hell is that graphical glitch at the at the status bar? Uh, that is. Look at the map. You see, it's missing its bottom row. Oh, a line of dots the mini map that I told you. Thank you, ZSNES, for fucking up. Missiles. Missile. 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 I don't I want to get in this argument with another American, no, goddammit. No, it. dude, I pronounce it missile, too. I was just, I was imitating an old Amiga speech program. Yeah, kids, I'm 20 years old, and I just made a fucking Amiga reference. And earlier, earlier, I did a Paul Lind impression, so, so dude, figure that shit out. Dude, I'm 22, so fuck your logic. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse you. <coughs> At anyway, least, that, at least that, I didn't sneeze onto your expensive ass studio, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> I chew. <laughs> I killed that Ripper just. Ripper, that's what it was called. Yeah. Thank you. Um, that so, that so missile that I got back there a few minutes ago while he was while we were talking ACDC and stuff, uh, and that graphical bug. 
Which is still there, by the way. Yeah, it's going to stay there. It, it, it mainly shows up in Norfair. I don't know why. But it's not that big of a deal. I'm taking a lot of damage, but I have three Yeah, you're... Point. Yeah, those damn Novas or whatever the hell those things are called. I'm going to go this way in the interest of showing off the proper path. I could just wall jump and say fuck this entire section, but whatever. Unless I can refill. What? Did you just missile of that freaking enemy? Nice. No, I spazered him. I, I thought I saw the explosion from from a, they, from a super missile. This is back in the day when everything exploded when you killed it. I just love about it, you. You happy now? Ah, uh, I'm getting fucked by fire dicks. Tusty. Yes, in Soviet Russia, fire, fuck you. In Soviet Russia, you burn fire. My I'm Russian accent is better than yours. I'm not even trying, dude. Of course, my no statement one... still stands. Some, of course, n neither of us can match the amazingness that is Kyle Myers. Who I don't know who that is. You, you don't know FPS Russia. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that his, that's his real name. It's Kyle Myers. It says, Do not try this at home. I am professional Russian. His videos have gotten so much higher quality since I subscribed to him, by yeah. the way. When I first uh, subscribed to his channel... Appalling he... gun safety, though. Yeah. He stand, uh, okay, dude, if you're going to fire an automatic... If you're going to hold an automatic shotgun, which has granted very little recoil... And uh, oh! Fuck you! These elevator platforms are the spawn of Satan, by the way. I, I was about to say, I'm hoping you're not directing that abuse at me, because that wasn't my fault. No, it's definitely not your fault. It's these fucking elevator platforms. Those give me those give me trouble, too. I mean... Uh, uh, there are some ROM hacks that like to put these underwater, which oh. really highlights the problem of them. When they first start going up, if you land on them, when they're first going up, you will just fall right through them. Because fuck clipping. And you know what? In redesign, an infamous ROM hack, first yeah. major large-scale Super Metroid hack, um, not only do they put them underwater, they put them under lava. What? And they're the... Nice. And they're the only fucking way of getting out of the lava, which is about a screen deep. Anyway, we have to wave My face palming right now. Yeah, redesign fucking sucks. Drusef, if you're watching this, you did a good job making a professional-looking hack, but you did a really lousy job making a game.